Endurance is the longest time an aeroplane can remain in flight without refuelling. Best endurance is achieved by flying at an angle of attack which yields minimum fuel flow. The airspeed for best endurance is the ideal airspeed to use when the aeroplane is running low on fuel and waiting for fog to lift at the destination. Wind does not affect endurance since fuel flow is unaffected by the wind. In a headwind, for example, the range may be reduced, but endurance remains the same. Fuel flow is a function of fuel used per unit of thrust multiplied by the total number of thrust units. Fuel used per unit of thrust is commonly known as specific fuel consumption. For best endurance, the aim is to reduce the fuel flow by reducing the amount of fuel used to produce each unit of thrust. For best endurance, the specific fuel consumption must be reduced. This can be done by increasing engine RPM to the design RPM range. This RPM range is high all the way up to 98% of the maximum RPM. Increased engine RPM does increase the fuel flow, but it also increases thrust. The thrust increases by a greater amount than the fuel flow, and this results in an overall decrease in the specific fuel consumption ratio, which is good for endurance. Specific fuel consumption may also be reduced by flying in lower outside air temperature and higher altitude. Generally, endurance improves with an increase in altitude, but once the design RPM is exceeded, higher altitude may reduce endurance. Less fuel used for each unit of thrust is only part of the equation. The aim is to reduce the total thrust as well. In level flight, the forward-facing force of thrust is balanced by the rearward-facing force of drag. If drag is small, the aeroplane need only fly with a small amount of thrust. In the fuel flow formula, thrust can now be replaced by drag, since the value of drag is equal and opposite to the value of thrust. To minimise drag for best endurance, the jet aeroplane must fly at the minimum drag speed. Minimum drag speed is where the total drag is at a minimum. It is also the speed for best lift to drag ratio and maximum excess thrust. As fuel is burned during the flight, the aeroplane's weight reduces. The drag curve moves down and left. This results in reduced maximum endurance airspeed. The angle of attack for maximum endurance does not change, but the airspeed at which this angle of attack is achieved depends on weight and altitude.